All right, so my name is Ben Wurst. I work for the Conserve Wildlife Foundation, and today we're going to show you how to build an osprey platform. Uh, as you can see, work's going in the background here on the finished product, but uh, right now we're going to show you the lumber that's needed to build a platform. And uh, the main piece here is a 16-foot 6x6. Six six. Uh, all this is treated lumber. Uh, these two pieces are two 2x6s, two and then we have two 8-foot uh, 2x4s. And these 2x6s are 12 feet in length. All right, so here's the box type structure that goes on top of the pole that we're going to attach uh, to the pole with uh, the supports that I showed you, that are, uh, the two by fours. So this is the box type structure. It's basically like a three by three foot box with a five foot uh, support post that gets attached to the pole. So hold on one second and we'll show you how to cut these pieces and put them together. All right, when cutting the two by six, you want to have six uh, three foot lengths and one five foot length. All right, with the two by fours, you want to cut one end at a 45 degree angle. That's what I'm going to do now. All right, now we're going to drill the other side of uh, the two by four that we just cut uh, at the 45 degree angle. And we're measuring out five inches from the end and drilling in the middle of the 2x4, which is like one and three a quarter inches. And we're drilling with an 11 16 bit. Alright, so now what we're doing is we're uh, attaching the 2x6 pieces, the three foot pieces together to form a box. Uh, we're using three inch, uh, just pressure treated All right, so now we've got the box built. Uh, we're in the process of attaching it to the pole. Uh, you can see like one of our key little spare tools here is like a center block which we use to support the pole. Uh, but first I'm going to drill two holes through uh, this five foot uh, two by six that we're going to attach to the, the 16 foot six by six. So I'm using the same 11 16th uh, drill bit for this. So let's just load it out just a little bit away from that so we can drill into it. <laughs> Alright, so now we're using uh, half inch lag bolts uh, that are either 5 or 6 inches long. Uh, it doesn't matter, anywhere around uh, that size is good. Uh, first we're just going to hammer them in a little bit to get them started and then we're going to use a ratchet just to tighten them down. Avoid hitting your fingers. It hurts. <laughs> All right, so now on the main post here, the 16 foot 6 by 6, I'm measuring down 32 and a half inches, and then measuring halfway uh, between the two, or, well, it's like five and a half inches across, which is uh, two and three quarter inches. And then here I'm going to drill an 11 16 inch hole where we're going to mount the two 2 by 4s uh, to the post. All right, so now we're attaching the 2x4 where we cut the 45 degree angle uh, on the one end and we drill the 11 16 inch hole on the other end. Uh, we're attaching that to the post, uh, which simulates kind of like a V notch uh, in a tree, which simulates like uh, the normal habitat where an osprey would nest in like a snag out in the salt marsh. Uh, but this is, of course, an artificial nest platform. And what we're using is a 5 8 inch uh, hex bolt, which is 10 inches long. And uh, we're inserting that into the pole here, if I could get it in. Uh, some little hammer might uh, help here, even though I'm not using the right hammer. Uh, and then we're just going to bolt up the other side here. And then we're going to use a flat washer and a lock washer and right. tighten this up pretty tight. Alright, now we're drilling a, 
through the 2x4 and through the side of the 2x6, uh, the 5 foot 2x6, uh, with a 3 8 inch drill bit that's uh, pretty long here. This is maybe 10 inches long. Uh, and through here, we're going to attach uh, these two pieces with a carriage bolt. Alright, now I'm just inserting an 8 inch carriage bolt. And we're just attaching it with uh, just a flat washer and a lock washer and a simple little nut. Alright, so now we're installing the most important part of these Osprey platforms, the Predator Guard. Uh, Ospreys are normally preyed on by raccoons, they're the main drought predator, they prey their young and eggs. Uh, and it's a simple piece of brown painted trim coil or uh, trim stock that you could get at uh, any hardware store or home improvement store like Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, and basically you just nail this on the post uh, pretty high up, you know, because four feet of this is going to be in the ground. Uh, and you just nail it with uh, galvanized common, uh, like, siding nails or roofing nails. These are like an inch and a half uh, in length. And uh, you want to pay, uh, you know, careful attention just to make sure that the, the predator guard is really flat and uh, that a raccoon can't get its paws or, or uh, toes or anything in here to get gripped.